Today we're gonna do truck bed lighting and we're gonna do use it using the new accent lighting kit here uh, from Super Bright LEDs. It comes in a nine piece and a five piece unit. We're gonna use the five piece. It is an accent light kit that can be used any, on anything, ATVs, UTVs, motorcycles, uh, underglow, lighting. This is just one of the applications we're gonna use it for, which is truck bed lighting. So everything in the kit is gonna be five strips. We're using the five piece. Each strip comes with the adhesive backing. There's nine LEDs, it's about four inches. The mating connector, which that mating connector goes into the splitter hub for the five pieces. The splitter hub goes plugged directly into the RGB controller. This RGB controller communicates with the uh, remote key fobs and also has an inline fuse. So we can just hook it directly up to the battery. All right, each strip comes with about 50 inches of wire. Okay, we'll be installing underneath the rail, bed rail here. And uh, we're going around and the hub's gonna centralize over there. So we're gonna need some extension cables, which we have available too. So this controller box is not weatherproof. We're gonna be mounting this under the hood near the battery. I have a dry spot there for it. Um, but if you were to mount this underneath the truck bed, if that suits you, you would apply silicone here and that would uh, weatherproof the box. So we're gonna clean under the truck bed rail so we can mount our strips. And I'm using my truck bed rails mounts here as my location guides of where I'm gonna apply the strips. We're gonna peel the uh, backing off and all the wires are gonna be facing towards the cab of the truck. The reason why I like the uh, the accent lighting kit or this truck bed kit because there are smaller modular strips. If you were to use a long strip to go along the, the whole bed, you'd have to avoid all of the railing mounts and uh, the bolts under here, uh, which sometimes put the LEDs in plain view. This way, enough light and it's easily mounted and out of the way. All right, the four uh, strips are gonna come to this hub. Uh, I decided not to use the fifth strip. The four is gonna do the job just the way I need it to. Uh, the hub is going to rest in here. All my wires are going to, I'm going to use some extension cables to run all the wires to go in here. And then through here, the wires will drop down. So this is the extension cable that we're connecting to the splitter hub. You can see the wire insulation colors do not match, but they mate together just fine and they will operate just fine as well. Okay, we're going to connect all the extension cables that we need on this side to bring over to connect to the hub. Uh, the two on this side, are the wires are long enough to just go straight to the hub. Uh, then after that, we're going to organize our wire with the zip tie 3M tape wire organizers. they will hold it and organize the wire up underneath the truck bed rails. Okay, we're fishing the wire across the bed cab to go to the battery. Okay, we fished uh, the extension cable through the engine bay and up to the battery. We've got our controller, and like I said, I'm going to mount mine right here, just next to the battery, the dry place, tie up this extension cable, secure it. All right, so we have our extension cable in, and then we've got our controller box. They easily plug and play right into each other. The only thing left to do is to connect the, the positive to the positive terminal. I'm going to crimp on some uh, connection spades. We're going to make our contact right into the battery clamp connectors. With these spade connectors, all you gotta do is loosen uh, the nut here uh, on the contact clamp for the battery and then just slide it in. This is the, the RF antenna. It can be out of sight, but I'm just gonna go ahead and prop that up like that. Get your key fob and the D button will turn it on. There you go. Now I'm gonna use the white for truck bed illumination, but it has the other colors. And A will cycle through those colors. There's a, a natural white, blue, 